Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back everyone to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Starting off on the skill screen, which is something we've never done, but we do have two points, so I figured it would be fun to spend them right from the start and then employ that skill in today's episode. Thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate every like, comment, and eyeball that watches this. If you have three eyeballs, then you are one and a half times as awesome as everyone else. If you have two eyeballs, you're still amazing, and I love you no matter what. I wanted to know in the comments below what assassin skill you wish you had. Could be from this list, could be one you see in the game. Maybe it's Eagle Vision, Air Assassination. I think for me it would just be like the parkour ability. I know that's pretty like low key, but that would be like the absolute best thing for me. Um, so we can increase her stealth or increase her Eagle Vision. Um, since she is stealthy, I think increasing her Eagle Vision would be cool. Um, so she already has a stealth advantage over Jacob, so why not up the ante a little uh, with some better Eagle Vision? I'm now level three, which lets me. Uh, do more stuff. Last time we unlocked all the crafting upgrades, which is pretty cool. And we've got all the stuff we can craft, as you can see. Belts, and iron cookery, and mirage gauntlets, and Lady Vignola's cloak, and all. Like, look at this! So freaking cool. Legendary Assassin Cape. That one is super sexy. I think it requires level 9, though. I'm guessing. Yeah. So, no point in really, uh... Crafting this because I can't use it. Uh, anyways, there's also upgrades um, which are here, which we saw last time. And yeah, 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 gang upgrades can be used with the crafting resources as well. Okay, but for now, back to the game. We gotta head back to Alexander Graham Bell's workshop uh, in order to complete this Freedom of the Press quest. We've got the rope launcher now, which is awesome. And now we get to go see the inventor, the fine man who makes telephone talk happen. And in effect, He's led to everything, so like, his advancements, in a way, helped produce the microphone that I'm speaking to you through, and the technology for you to hear it, and the fact that all of the sound and sights are on this disc, in some way, he, he played like, at least a role in it, which I think is really magical. I still, like, it still blows my mind, we're just gonna have like a pause, like, and look in the sky and like, think about what a wonderful world, that on this disc, I put in a system, and it has moving images and sounds that I can control, characters and horses, carriages and more. Like, it's pretty freaking awesome that we live in an era of so much fun. Ah, Miss Fry! Uh, I was just showing Jacob the first message was received via the mended lines. Oh, uh, you can keep the rope launcher, by the way. Uh, yes! We've managed to procure another one for your brother. Excellent work. Thank you, again. You're very welcome, Mr. Bell. We can now defend the principle of impartial news and free speech. Free is fair, but free and brief is far better. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, Fry, such caustic wit. <laughs> and on that note, we must depart. <laughs> oh, uh, good fortune to you both. Uh, call on me at any time. Goodbye, Mr. Bell. Thank you for completing the quest. We got the outdoorsman outfit, which I guess we'll, we'll put on again. We completed all this. So far, we've been perfect, 100% in all of our uh, accomplishments, which is awesome. And there goes another mission. Where will our adventures take us today? I'm not even 100% sure. Because B was the thing we were trying to complete. I'm guessing there's more freeing of the areas. Removing the, uh, the infrastructure of the Templar, Scourge, and Starx forces that rot the city from within. Uh, but we'll see where they take us. If Henry has anything for us, or we have to return to the train. Now that we've finished with that distraction... Who is that? Oh, you mean... you don't know? Beautiful train you got here. Miss McBean was just telling me all about her. His name's Ned. How do you do? I won't take up more of your time. Uh, if you want to learn a thing or two about the finest transit systems in the world, you can find me at this address. Okay. Let us return to locating the Peace of Eden. We need to reclaim London from Staric. Who are my targets? It's not time for that yet. I didn't come to London to hunt curios. First understand the dance, only then become the dancer. Oh, so you're taking over where father left off. Someone has to. Evie, finding the precursor artifact will give us an insight into what the Templars intend. Jacob, I have information about Starek's associates that should be of use to you. Yeah. Ooh.
So cool. Conquer London. Use the assassination wall in the Trinidad to track the next Templar target. Expand territory by completing the conquest activities. Complete associate activities to earn money, crafting resources, and unique rewards. This game is so cool. I feel like they just have like polished the, the whole system a lot better this time around. I really like it. Quite the fan of Syndicate so far. And I haven't been a fan, as you guys know, so... It's like... It's, it's pretty, pretty impressive that the game is impressing me so much. Hopefully it keeps that all throughout the game. Aha. Uh -huh. So sequence four. Sequence eight. Sequence four. So right now we can do sequence eight or sequence four. I'm guessing we do sequence four? Why? Well, I, I don't... Like, doing eight makes no sense. But all right. A quick and reliable remedy. A rift is open between Jacob and Evie. He does not support Evie's quest for the Peace of Eden. And she sees Jacob campaign to take on the Templars as reckless and sloppy. Working separately, Jacob heads to Lambeth to investigate Steric's soothing syrup, while Evie traces the precursor artifact to the home of Master Assassin Edward Kenway. Sweet! So a little bit of Black Flag reference there. Alright. Give me sequence four then, please. This soothing syrup has become the only medicine available in Lambeth. It bears the Templar Grandmaster's name. About time for a visit to the doctor. Mm. I don't see that cure arriving anytime soon. And what exactly will you be doing, might I ask? You know very well. Tracking down the Peace of Eden. Enjoy your studies. <laughs> I'll be out killing Templars. Ah, oh, they're, they're fighting. They are fierce siblings doing their stuff against each other. And now we get to split up. I love how we get to track them both as our train moves around. Uh, we've got a bunch of new stuff. Rouge's Vault. That's something I wanted to do. And since I'm right here, I think I'm going to put a mark on there. And then later on, we can head down this way. It looks like we've got... Uh, Ned Winnert. Uh, is that a guy or a girl? <laughs> Sorry if I'm being crazy. Uh, but it's not obvious to me. Charles Dickens Memory, Spring Hill Jack. That'll be fun. Uh, we've got B, which stands for... What does B stand for? Big Mission? <laughs> I don't know. Or it's a Burrow Mission, maybe? Cable News. And a Spoonful of Syrup. That's a Spoonful of Syrup. That's Cable News. Where is the Kenway Mission, then? Or is that not lit up? I guess I have to do these two first. Or unless Cable News is the, the Kenway one. Anyhow, I want to do this first as our train moves around. Uh, I got the Outdoorsman outfit. And it looks like we are going to be exiting. Woo! And I grabbed the rope launcher after that last mission. And we'll use it straight away to ascend to the top of this, uh, this, what do you call it? Deacon Soap billboard. Um, let's go into our menu. I think Jacob needs some upgrades. Uh, he should have points. He has seven points. Holy crapperella. Um, so we're going to give him this in case I'm him. I know I could swap them around, but why not? Let's give him lockpicking. Um, I guess I could give them different skills. The problem is if I'm on a mission that's dedicated to one of them, I don't want to be stuck like, oh, I can only, I have to swap out. But let's see what this third tier is. You suffer significantly reduced damage from falls and make no noise when you land. Oh, that's sick. Throwing knives stuns enemies for a short time. You automatically recover throwing knives and throwing multi-kills. Interesting. Stealth. Gunslinger. What is this one? Successful attacks bring enemies to near death more rapidly. Okay, I'm going to grab Mutilate. Even though that sounds horrible. <laughs> Chopping their top straight off. And then I'm going to grab the other silent steps. Sweet baby Jesus, we are becoming a superstar. Um, I guess I'm going to go in here and grab the health boost anyway, since it's one. Might as well. Uh, and let's, let's don the Huntsman, or Outdoorsman outfit. I mean, I don't know. I want... Oh, I must be anonymous in level ground. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Um, I want every episode to be as awesome as possible, so I'm I'm trying to pack in as much cool stuff as I can. Uh, like, you know, outfit changes, skill additions, everything. Um, so that, I don't know, so every episode is a really fun one. Mixing in missions, side missions, uh, associate missions, all that good stuff. Traversal. Hopefully everything can be fun. Um, I'm not sure why there's new skills. Oh, it's because this one here. Stun enemy with X and perform a tool combo with triangle to execute them. Oh, that'll be cool. I'll have to grab that next time. Sorry, what am I doing here? Um, whistling, I guess. Stop it. Inventory. Outfits. Outdoorsman. It's super expensive, but it's such a nice change. I like it a lot. Thank you. And it decreases defection speed by $7,500. Yes. Cool. Wait, did I own that? Holy crap. I think I upgraded it unnecessarily. 
I'm sorry. I'll make money. I'll go get some money, honey. Don't worry about me. Um, noble assassin belt. These are so expensive. Oh, that's a... Ah, okay. So I'd like that one. Oh, I just have this? I do. It's just the upgrade that is the cost. Okay, and then you preview the upgrade and there's even more. Gotcha. Now I've learned this system. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, all right. So we'll be Jacob. Oh, look at him. Hey, leave me alone, chops. Get out the way. All right. So that's how he looks like. Now he's this outdoorsman with a cool top hat. And when he puts on the cloak, yes, he's all teal and, and purple. That's pretty awesome. The cloak makers. We've got a cloak of our own here. Let's go to this Rouge's vault and see what's up with that. Those guys are probably going to spot me, but uh, hopefully they'll be on their way. The road is closed, but I gotta see what this vault is. I have no idea. It's down below in this construction site, which is interesting. Either they're digging this out or they're building around it or something. Uh, but this seems to be a secret spot that has been uncovered. Again, look at just this cool construction, the way the light shines through, all the different... I feel like the environment is much more varied than in the past. Like, the city has been spruced up in so many little ways with little uh, additions every which way. Um, Alright, sweet. So we're going to this vault here. It's very dark. I don't know who Rouge is. All I can think of is the Rouge plant in Detroit, which is like a very terrible place. Um, we're approaching it though, through this tunnel network. There's a lantern there lighting the path. Aha! This is it. What is this? This is... My god, this is Michelle Rouge's vault. <gasps> Michael Rook's fault? It can't be. You have no idea who that is, do you? Hmm. <laughs> I'm the foggiest. He was an assassin. Father had one of his books. Oh. Legend says he found some fabulous treasure near Bath that drove him mad. He locked it away beneath London in a vault that could only be opened by a set of special musical boxes. Special musical boxes? Now who's mad? Michel Rouge. Secrets of London. Number 11. The spirits white as lightning would on my travels guide me. The stars would shake and the moon would quake whenever they espied me. When I want provent with Humphrey I sup and when benign I uh I repose in Paul's with waking souls yet never I am affrighted. Alright I don't know what all these things are. You can view them full screen. Oh it's showing where the boxes are. I gotcha. So this one is right there. And, uh, we have to go grab them. Apparently I have one. I can insert one. Did I, ha did I grab a box? So apparently when we insert all these music boxes, this middle thing is going to open and, and is going to, I'm guessing it's like a special suit maybe? Doesn't it kind of look like it would house a suit? And there's been stuff like that in, in past Assassin's Creed games, so I wouldn't, wouldn't be too surprised. I'm inserting this assassin's symbol here. I don't know where I got that. But Okay. Alright. Looks like we have to acquire the rest. Oh, and there's like all these different sides. So I have to put the pieces in all the sides, I'm guessing. Alright, so more super sexy collectibles for us to grab. Uh, Secrets of London. I'm guessing that's in the... The database? No, the... Um, yeah, here we go. So this is... That's like by a train station. And you can just see the tiny little box. Um, that's so weird. All right, well, we'll work to find those. That'll be a fun thing to collect, I guess. Maybe we could dedicate a few episodes uh, throughout the walkthrough to that, because I like that kind of stuff. That reminds me of the glyphs from Assassin's Creed 2, which is one of my favorite parts of that game, and one of the one of the many reasons that made AC2 my favorite in the entire series. Um, all right, your train save is full. Okay, so I should fast travel back to the train and empty the empty it. Um, let's do that now, then. What is this? Oh, that's Robert Topping. And where is the train right now? The train is in Whitechapel. Alright, let's fast travel there. And perhaps when we're in Whitechapel, we could even grab one of the Secrets of London. Maybe we'll actually do that now, just to see what happens when you get one or something. I think it might be cool. And then we'll, uh, we'll start off a new mission. Aha! I like his new outfit. What do you guys think of his new outfit? 
It makes him look a little bit more... A little more gangstering. A little more like a leader of a street gang like he is. Or like he's trying to be, you know? So I think it's it's a fitting fit for my main man, Jacob. If you would agree. Alright, so, um... Let's empty the safe. $1,100. Man, I need to definitely upgrade that. Um... Increase your maximum safe capacity by 500 pounds. I mean, 1,100 isn't that much. But I'm okay. Alright, let's head out of here. Pretty cool that we have, like a moving hideout. I think that's actually like, a, a super s swell idea. Alright, um, see, this is where like the rope launcher comes in huge handy. We don't have to run around anything. We just hitch a ride and then we're, uh, oh, there's an alarm bell here. But I think it's all safe. So where exactly are we? We're in Whitechapel, correct? Yes, indeed. Um, so then let's go to the secrets. And for Whitechapel? Okay. Oh, these are so... Okay, this one. Train track path in Whitechapel by a tree and like a curve and there's a broken bottle. So, if I head back to the train tracks and we stay in Whitechapel, in theory... We should find it, right? In theory. Alright. I wish there was a way to quickly open that menu up again, instead of having to go back and do it every single time. Okay, so it's the double train track. It's curving to the right. And there's one of those, like, towers on the left. Let's see if we can spot this. And I am at the far end... So I'm guessing it's like up here, maybe. Okay, so... Yeah, there's no tower like that there. So we can just run and run and find out what we're gonna find. Um, do you guys have any other ideas of what is in that Rouge vault besides possibly like an outfit. I'm trying to think of maybe it's like our father's outfit or something I know they're saying he was an assassin, so it has to be something weapon or outfit related, but that thing is a big It's like almost like a A, a wardrobe like a steampunk wardrobe, so there's got to be something I would guess outfitty in there I'm not seeing any of these towers. How far have we moved just to see? Oh, we're moving pretty quick So this isn't gonna take as long as I thought the area is big, but it's not that big. I wish one of the upgrades we could get would be a speed boost for the run. Like, I could double tap RT and uh, go even quicker. Oh, it's here. I'm not sure where that tower is, but I hear the music box. Where is the tower that's in the picture? Check this out. Look. Where is that tower on the left side? Unless that's like a reflection or a mistake. Cause that sure isn't there, but I hear the music box and now we get to find it quicker than we thought. Nice. Aha. Uh -huh. Another assassin's coaster, whatever the heck those things are. Something to insert into the grand cogs of the machine. And now Rouge's vault is there. Letting us know that we found the collectible we need. Um, obviously a fast travel point. Some helix glitches, not a whole lot else going on. Where we want to travel is... Down here to the cable news station. Um, but we have no fast travel points, so we'll have to make our way there. So, uh, I guess we'll just start the runs. One of four Secrets of London here in Whitechapel. Find all 32 music boxes, bring the precursor discs two of the Rouge's Vault for a special reward. We gotta do that at some point. I'm not exactly sure what, but, uh, or when, but it's gotta be done. We have to. Um, oh, see? More hanging barrels! Actually, I think that's a, one of the things that you, like, ride to the rooftop. But even now, this is nicer. Quick little crossover, um, from street to street. Just in case we pass by it, let's look at what the other White Chapel secrets are. This one is in a courtyard by a cemetery and like an underground chamber that's covered. 
This one is by a big smokestack, probably the tallest in the area, and this one is by the, uh, a green statue. Hmm. Okay, so there's the super tall smokestack, so this actually has to be quite close. I'm guessing it's that. Let's see if you guys can spot it before me. So that's the super tall smokestack, like, off in the distance. So it's, like, directly behind or in front of it. And it looks like behind. Okay. Whitechapel goose ale. It's got to be in this courtyard, I bet. Because you don't see the goose ale sign. Oh, there is a beer bottle here as well, so let's grab that. Lots of collectible hunting as we make our way towards our next objective. Thank you for the beer bottle, two of three in Whitechapel. Um, there are more barrels that we can cut or... I'm sorry! Well, there's no bad guys around, so... I'm not sure when that would ever come in handy at this point. Maybe there'll be more useful barrels in areas that are occupied. Oh god, it could be any which way. I didn't realize how far back... How big that thing looked. Um, it looks like it's kind of to the left of it by a tree. What is the architecture like? You know what? Let's head to the other side of this and see if our vision is obscured or if... I'm sorry to keep checking this, but this is kind of fun. It reminds me of, like those I Spy books. If you guys have ever seen those, I'm definitely on the right path because you can see the building. That's exactly it. I'm just not sure how far back we're supposed to be. It's got to be a little farther back, I'm guessing. The music is all calm and cute all of a sudden. That's too far now. Unless it's from a different side. I swear I just heard it for a second. Arr! Okay. The roof that is that is this are we lining up correctly? Yes we are. It's so No, we're not. Okay, because there's not a triangular point in the picture, so it's gotta be a different side or a different thing. Yeah, okay. It's not that smokestack. It's another smokestack. Alright, honestly, this could take ages. Or maybe it is that smokestack, but just a different... It's on the left. That's what's weird. I don't even know. It seems like that's the big smokestack of the area. Wait a second. Could it be from this angle? Because this looks more like the architecture. No, it's... I don't even... Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, it's over here. It's so over here. We're super close to it, guys. Yep, I hear it. Shh. Yep. We're getting... Yep. Yes, baby! Two in the same episode. Good hunting, everybody. We did it, we did it, we did it. I ain't never gonna quit it. Just collect these precursor discs. I'm gonna be able to throw so many of these, like ninja stars. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Two precursor discs acquired and some upgrades. Making our way towards point B. We've uh, got to head that way, and we'll use our rope swing to make our move. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're excited for more Assassin's Creed. I think this is the 10th. Ow! episode in the series um so kudos to us for reaching double digits hope you guys are ready for more and excited for the rest of the game we will be completing this series just to assure you in case you got a little worried hopefully you notice how fast you've been moving through the episodes that it's important to me and i know it's important to you so i want to make sure we uh, we do our 
our darndest job to get this going quickly for you guys. Remember, the more likes and stuff we get, the faster I make the episodes, especially with a bunch of new games coming out. It lets me know that this is what you guys want to see, and I'll bring it your way as quick as can be. Until that time, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Fantastic day. Drink so much. Out. We'll see you all later.